We have a lot of people keep on asking questions about these old Jeeps and converting the brakes to 11 inch or disc brakes or whatever. Uh, our theory on that is if, if you're going to keep the Jeep original and keep the four cylinder motor, and I'm talking about the 2As, 3As, 3Bs, early CJ5s and stuff, and uh, and you're keeping it original, the original brakes aren't the best, but they still work enough to stop the Jeep at 40 45 miles an hour and, and even if you put an overdrive in at 55 they're still okay you know you just gotta watch because sometimes you, the brakes on new cars are so much better but they're still adequate uh, if you're gonna put a V8 or something in this thing and now you're gonna go 60 70 80 miles an hour definitely get rid of the old brakes they will not stop you and and I definitely go to the disc brakes and if you do that you might as well figure on changing your axles and getting some newer axles with the bigger brakes and disc brakes right right on them uh, but uh, if you if you're running one with an overdrive with original four cylinder motor and you don't feel you that the brakes are adequate enough for it and you want something a little better if you find a set of brakes off an old Willys wagon or truck they're 11 inch by two brakes and they bolt right on with no modifications and uh, you know maybe once a year or maybe every couple years if you don't dry the thing much you have to go underneath and adjust the adjusters on it but they still work great uh, big improvement over the nine inch brakes and and you don't have to really do hardly any modifications except rerun some of your lines and bend your lines over again where to go into the wheel cylinders and the backing plate and another thing you can do uh, if you want self adjusting brakes on it uh, like the 72 to 75 CJ5 with 11 inch brakes on them those are just about a bolt on brake setup too they're getting tough to find because those Jeeps have really disappeared and uh, you know if you find one in the junkyard and even some old Wagoneers uh, late 60s into the early 70s had them brakes on too and uh, you can get them off you can still get all the parts for them uh, shoes spring kits you know and, and anything else you need the adjusters stars and and bolts at the bottom so all that stuff's available if you decide to do that